The London daily commute can be a stressful time. To make London greener and make us happier, London Overground has teamed up with Groundwork and Repowering London to create gardens on 50 overground platforms, which are called energy gardens. We're here at Hampstead Heath Station, and in true British fashion, it's raining, while the energy gardens are here to brighten your day. Even during the winter, it is possible to plant vegetables like these carrots that will be ready for harvest in the springtime. It's about bringing community gardening with community energy together, opportunities for people to get involved in food production or increasing and enhancing biodiversity and wildlife, um, as well as getting to know other people and other local groups that might be interested in the same thing about greening and enhancing stations, not only for local people, but also for regular commuters that pass by every day. Currently, over 30% of London is green. In the last year alone, London borough spending on green spaces has dropped by more than 10%. Because of the cuts in spending, there has been a further reliance on the community sector. Community groups look after over 70% of green spaces across London. So with all the cuts in spending, how is the energy garden being funded? It is funded initially through uh, the People's Postcard Lottery, but into the long term it will be funded through the sale of renewable energy in a cooperatively owned community benefit society, much like other community energy projects in London. Um, the aim of the programme is to use the currently underperforming or underused uh, sort of spare land or wasteland on the London Overground Network to create hotspots of community gardening. Jonathan Bergman is a Hampstead Heath resident. He transformed a piece of wasteland just outside the station and created the World Peace Garden. He wanted to create a space where the community could meet. It's a wonderful bonding, positive uh, thing for a community to share one space. That community spirit has filtered down to the energy garden on the platform. He has decided to be a part of the project at his local station and anyone can do the same. So Erin's going to be doing the design based on the... These people met up at Stoke Newton Station on Friday night to promote the project. They are planning to build the next energy garden here. I think it's going to benefit London Overground, but more not benefit the company itself, uh, but benefit customers who use it every day. A lot of these stations have been forgotten about, have been left alone, have been left derelict and unmanned. So with London Overground coming in, a lot of the, the emphasis that we put on what we do now in the stations is to bring back a sense of community. Londoners can nominate their own station to take part in the scheme and decide what it will look like. The Energy Garden project is making London greener and people's journeys back home much happier. Bethany Walker, City News.